Hi, this is Professor Angela Rasmussen from the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering at the University of Utah. And I'm going to go over today the equivalent resistances that we see with the MOSFET when we are looking at AC circuits. So we're going to see these common configurations and one of them is that we want to know when we're looking into this dependent source from this side what that equivalent resistance is for this dependent source. We also want to know when we look at it from the top, what the equivalent is that we see from this. So we're gonna bo take both of these equivalent resistances and see what we will have whenever we have this form. So we're gonna start with the one that is looking at it from the bottom. So, Remember for a Thevenin equivalent, we are going to take, we're gonna remove the independent sources. And so that's gonna short this over here. And then we're going to apply an external source. And we're gonna solve for either, if we apply a voltage, we're gonna solve for the current. If we apply a current, we're gonna solve for the voltage. I chose a, um, voltage just because I know if I have a voltage at this node I can do a node voltage equation and then solve for I test so I know that this whole node voltage here is already set to 1 volt because I applied that source so the current in this resistor here for RS is just going to be 1 over RS and then I have the dependent source which is minus GM VGS and then a minus I test, which is the value I'm trying to solve for. So VGS, I notice here this side is zero volts, and then I know that the negative side is going to be that one volt because I set it to be that. So zero minus one volt, and so I get VGS is minus one. I can plug that in and I get a plus GM times the minus one times minus becomes a one. And now I can take the I test over to the other side. And I have I test is one over RS plus GM. And now that I have the value for R test, RTH for this is uh, V test whatever I applied over I test and I applied a one volt so that will be one over one over RS plus GM I can rewrite this GM as one over a one over GM that's the same value and I notice this form is a parallel form so it's RS in parallel with one over GM. And so what that tells me is that whatever is connected to this node on this side, I can make an equivalent of it into this RS. And then looking at it into the bottom of this, this looks like it is a value of one over GM and it goes to ground. And that would give me this parallel form. So that also tells me that it doesn't matter that there's any resistance or anything on that side of the dependent source. I'm going to be able to ignore that and basically put an equivalence of one over GM in whenever I'm at the bottom looking into that dependent source. So now I can use this to solve other problems for the resistances there. Now I wanna look at the top, and when I look in at the top of this, what do I see as an equivalent resistance for this dependent source? So again, I do the same thing I did before. I remove the independent sources and I apply an external source. Again, that means that this is one volt on this whole wire. And I can do a node voltage again to give me GM VGS and then plus one over RD minus I test equals zero. And VGS now is zero volts here. 
is 0 minus, and now the current going through I, RS is this GM VGS. So I have GM VGS times RS, and I have to combine all the VGSs. So I bring that GM v, VGS RS over to this side equals to 0, and then I'm going to divide that 0 by this number and that's still going to be zero. So VGS in this case gives me zero. And so I test is going to just be one over RD. Now RTH is one over this I test. And so that's just RD. So that makes it look like this dependent source is an open when I'm looking at it from the top, because all it sees is that RD. So anything else connected to that node at the drain, I need to lump up into one equivalent resistance RD, but then I can ignore anything after the dependent source because that looks like an open from that side. All right, thank you for watching this